hello guys in this video we will see how to create aurora process equal compatibility rds instance on aws i have connected to my aws management console using my credentials and i am in us east one region then click on services and search for rds click on this rds service this is the rds dashboard at present i don't have db instances click on db instances or click on create database both are same click on db instances then click on create database the we have two methods standard create or easy create select the first option that is standard create then here we have different engine options aurora mysql aurora process equal mysql maria db process equal oracle and ms sql server select the second option that is aurora process equal compatible see here information about aurora process equal compatible edition aurora process equal offers up to three times throughput of process sql up to 128 terabytes of auto scaling, auto scaling ssd storage six way replication across three availability zones one is master and five are replicas up to 15 replicas with replica lag under 10 millisecond automatic monitoring with failover okay these are the features now once you selected aurora process sql compatible here engine version select the latest one that is 15 then templates development or production for this demo purpose i am going with dev or test db cluster identifier we have to provide the name for this db cluster i am giving aurora pg sql 1 this is the master username i am not changing it then provide password for this user which is used to connect admin then click on cluster storage configuration aurora standard or aurora io optimized for this purpose i am going with aurora standard instance configuration here we have three types one serverless memory optimized and burstable classes i am going with burstable classes this is cheaper compared to this memory optimized here select the cpus and memory size i am going with the least one that is db t3 medium next availability and durability multi zone deployment create aurora replica or raider in different az at present i don't want to create aurora replica so select don't create an aurora replica next connectivity don't connect to ec2 compute resource or connect to an ec2 compute resource i am going with first one network type i am going with ipv4 virtual private cloud i don't have any vpcs so it is going to create new vpc for this aurora process equal in the same way subnet also it is going to create new db subnet group public access select s yes. security group choose an existing one so it has selected the default one availability zone Select any one of them or no preference. Babel fish settings at present I am not selecting it. Database authentication. If you want to go for both IAM and Kerberos authentication, you have to select. Otherwise, leave them as it is. Monitoring. I am not going to change anything. Leave them as it is. Then additional configuration here. If you want to create initial database here, we have to provide the database name. Then default. cluster parameter we have one keep as it is db parameter also same keep as it is failover priority at present i am not giving we can give from tier 01 tier tier 0 to tier 15 backup retention we can give 1 to 35 days i am giving i am keeping as it is that is 7 days if you want to cop, copy on remaining and en enable encryption i am keeping as it is If you want to export postgres equal logs select it last option that is delete protection if 
you enable delete production, nobody can delete the Aurora. If you are satisfied with all the settings, then click on create database. Never save. Close this one. See, its status is still creating. Refresh. See, the first one is regional cluster and second is instance. Refresh again. Refresh until its status to be changed from creating to running. In meantime, if you go to RDS, see here one instance is running and parameter groups we have two and optional groups. Option groups we have one. See successfully created Aurora database. You, if you want to see the credentials, you have to click on new credit. Close this one. Go to DB instances. See it is available. Again refresh. Wait until this creating to be changed to available. Again refresh. Now see now it is saying right. Now it's, it is configuring log export. See, now it is available. Click on this instance. Here we have endpoint. This is used to connect to instance. This is the port number. This is the VPC availability zone. Public accessible. Okay. All are fine. Now configuration. See, this is the engine version. DB name. Instance class. CPUs and RAM size, failover, one, maintenance, we don't have logs. These are the recent events happened for this one. Next, monitoring. See, these are CloudWatch metrics. Go to connectivity, copy this endpoint, open PG admin. Now expand servers. Now right click on servers. Click on register server. Then provide name Aurora Postgres SQL. Then click on connection. Here provide the endpoint. This is the port. This is the maintenance database. This is the username and provide the password for this one. Which we have given at the time of Aurora instance creation. Click on save. It will throw error. Why? I will show you. This, see, this is time dot expire. Go to select the instance, then click on the security group. Then click on inbound rules, then click on edit inbound rules, then add rule, then select PostgreSQL, my IP, and click on save the rules. Now go to RDS, then go to PG admin, just remove password and type again. Click on save. See, we have successfully connected to Aurora Postgres SQL. Expand it. See, we have new database. Right click on this database and click on query tool. Create again another database, create database, test one, select it and create. Right click databases and refresh. See, we have new database. Right click on this databases, select create, then database. Test two. One or postgres, then click on save. In the same way, if you want to create login or group root, right click and right click on login or group roles, then create, then select login or group role. Here we have to provide R2 admin. Then definition, here we have to provide the password. 
then other option like privileges membership privileges can log in you have to select yes then click on save see new user or role or login added if you want to drop database right click here and click on this select or drop yes database count. the same way right click on delete that drop database count. so like this we can create database Databases are users in Aurora PostgreSQL. Click on this query editor. Also see here. Try to connect to query editor. But we will fail because query editor only supports for Aurora serverless databases. Okay. So the only option is like we have connected here using pg admin or dba or other connection tools so in this video we have seen how to create aurora postgresql instance on aws then we have seen how to connect to aurora postgresql from pg admin then we have seen how to create our logins how to create database logins then we have seen how to drop database or logins for more postgresql are AWS videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.